Good morning from a sandy and windy Blackpool. What a great morning. And I've got something really interesting to show you. What we've got today is very low level sand blowing along the beach. And it's just blowing in this narrow sort of strip. It's really, really creating some interesting images. Well, I think they're interesting anyway. I'm gonna show you them now on video. Here we go. That's the tower. And look at the sand blowing through the scene. And if, if I turn into the sun just for a second, you can see it. Look at that. It really is, uh, it's quite interesting. You know, it's, it's a scene I've photographed a number of times. You know, it's Blackpool Tower and the big wheel. But with this sand blowing through at a low level, and because the sun's just rising over to my right, it's illuminating the sand as it whips through it creating wonderful textures almost kind of like a river running across the sand and it, it's something that i've seen a few times before but i've never seen it to this extent and i've never photographed it or videoed it so this is something to look out for when you come to the beach yourself just a way of adding something different you know a lot of people take photographs and to be fair they're very similar the key is looking for something unique in your images something that's not been captured before you know and when I show you these pictures, you know, it, it's going to be, yeah, yes, it's been photographed before, but has it been photographed at Blackpool, you know, in these conditions, you know, and, and that's how you get an image which people look at and go, oh, you know, your images stand out. And that's the goal. That's what I've been talking about. So just something for you to think about. I'm actually here and it's Christmas morning. I'm meeting two friends. Well, I've come up with my friend Melvin. Give us a wave, Mel. There we go. That's enough of him. You don't want to see too much of Melvin on Christmas morning. Ruin the festive cheer. And me, <laughs> my other friend, uh, Chris, he's over there. He's photographing, as you do, he likes to keep it very festive. So he's photographing the remnants of a sewage pipe. <laughs> what could be more Christmassy? So uh, I hope you're having a great Christmas anyway. It's probably going to be a couple of days after by the time I post this. But I just thought I'd let you know what I'm up to. I've just come down here. What can be a better way to start? Christmas morning than spending a couple of hours on the beach with friends before I go get stuck into some of that dirty turkey. So I'll, I'll see you soon. And if, if I get any more pictures, as usual, you'll be seeing what else I'm up to. I've moved down to the pipe a bit further on. Chris has cleared off. And this is beautiful. I've got a really nice shot. I couldn't video myself actually taking the shot because what I did is I walked along this pipe here right out to the end. And while it's not really dangerous, it's dangerous for your camera gear because out there, there's like four or five foot of water either side and you're walking down the end of a, just a metal pipe. And if you fall, oh, it's... <laughs> It's a world of hassle in it so i'm very careful i couldn't shoot video but i wanted to show you where i was shooting from i walked down to the end i put my 10 stop filter on uh, a 0.6 hard grad which just took the sky down and the 30 second exposure at f10 it just gave that kind of uh surreal quality to the image so it's removed all the detail of the water and i think that's going to be quite a nice shot so i've got a few ideas to shoot in a minute but for the time being Here's my take on a Christmas day, black and white, minimal sewage pipe. I want to talk to you now about a type of photography I really enjoy, and that's detail work. I particularly enjoy it at the coast, and the thoughts, the, the, well, not the thoughts, the way you've got to think is detail, contrast, colour, texture, form, obviously composition. All these things are involved and that's why I enjoy it. It's very, very challenging. And what I'm looking to do is basically zoom in on the details of the sand and the water. I found a lovely little section. And at this part of the beach, can you see the stream here is flowing. Chris is down there photographing but then this stream flows into the sea 
and it carves out a little stream. At the edge of the stream, you can see the sand is illuminated with the low winter sun. So we're getting these kind of textures carved out by the water in the sand and we're seeing the form of them because of the low light. That's critical for this kind of photography is the light. My favourite photographer, David Ward, he's a magician at this kind of work. I love his stuff and I sort of try to emulate him. I don't copy his images, but I try to shoot thinking, you know, what would a good David Ward picture look like? And if I can get anything close to that, I've succeeded. And I think I've got a couple of quite nice images. They've got light on them. Uh, they've got texture. I shoot them handheld. So I put my ISO up to 400. I'll be shooting at F10 at about 200th of a second. And the reason I have to put my ISO up is so that I can use F10. It's no good shooting this stuff at 2.8 or F4 because, because I'm zooming in, I'm at 70 mil generally, and I'm quite close to my subject. So F4, even if you're flat on, you're not gonna have the depth of field. You need F9, F10. And using a tripod, I find it so cumbersome for this kind of work. So it's just a question of me sort of working the scene and seeing what I can come up with. And I don't normally put the camera on a tripod and show myself at work, but I'm going to just set it up now and you can see sort of how I go about it. a lovely little scene in front of me here inspired by my mate Chris to be honest he's shooting a different take on it but I saw him over here and then I immediately thought I know what he's up to and it's, it is a good idea we're shooting the tower here which has got some gorgeous cloud behind it it's got a little bit of soft light off, off it's not quite off the full sun but just off a bit of sun but at this point here there's a lot of water flowing in front of us 